So messing around on this rainy day, I decided I want to take a look at this hitch on this twin rake hitch. I want it to set farther out behind the tractor and I've already kind of, I'll show you here, I've already kind of swung the hitch out on the rake and I extended it back farther because I wasn't happy with it. And I can turn these wheels with that crank right there and I can spin them out so this rake will walk way out to the side. But I need a little bit more yet. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an extendable hitch for this. So that way I can adjust it to be farther out and swing it farther over to make a better windrow. Voila! Yeah, we're having a good time. That wasn't too bad. So, got the hitch cut off. Now we need to make some sort of an extendable hitch on here. So, I'm thinking just some square tubing. Wow, you are wet. Some square tubing with a hole drilled in it so I can adjust it. All right, I got some tube stock here uh, for making my extendable hitch. I got this piece and uh, another piece that fits over this. It was 56 pucks for seven foot of this and then two foot of piece that fits over this. So pretty pricey. So that's why I always try to salvage off of stuff that's going to the junk pile. The metal is expensive.
little bit bent, but I'm not real worried about it. It's a little twisted down on this. The original hitch was, but it's hardly worth messing with it. The pin goes through just fine. It don't really bother me. Ruger, come on, you can't watch this, bud. I gotta set you outside so I can weld. I, you can't watch this, it's bad for your puppy eyes. I think I'd like to maybe put a hydraulic cylinder on it, but I like pulling the rake with the H, and the H doesn't have hydraulics on it right now, so that can wait. I just use a hand crank for now, set it, and use it. But now, when I need to swing over farther to catch the other windrow, now I can extend this hitch. So this is the shortest position, and it's got about, what, one, two, three, three different positions. If I want more, I can drill more holes, so what? Uh, so, here's your second position. And then, you can set it all the way out here. And I can catch a lot more windrow, so I can swing all the way out. So that's gonna be really handy for me. I'm pretty excited to use this. So there's the hitch on it, and then the bar just rides along this frame rail. Up out of the way. Pretty easy to manage. I would like to paint this rake, depending on what color I paint the rake, then I'll know what color to paint this. I might stick with black, I don't know. The whole thing could use some paint. I did paint this one. It's time consuming, but it does look nice. So, yeah, pretty happy with this project, and I guess I'll move on to the next one. just put that bracket on there today and that worked out really good that's gonna be so handy for just moving that around by myself when I need it because that thing is heavy and awkward to move so I'm happy with that y'all are about to see a very excited dog when I get this board out boy he goes nuts I gotta grab his leash though Let's hook you up. All right. Let's see, I gotta use left hand. Oh, relax. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? 
I gotta relearn this. I haven't ridden this much since winter. bud. I saw it coming too. This guy. Yeah, no, I know it was you. Happy cows, huh, Rube? And then you got this guy. Acting like he ain't interested. I see you in there. Look at you, you got all tangled up. And you got super muddy already. How did that even happen? Hopefully he doesn't poop on the leash. Oh, he's gonna poop right on my leash, dang it. Is that all you got? Let's go, come on. You got more than that. There you go. You're fast puppers. Whoa, whoa, don't do that, man. Ruger, no. Oh man, it's like you like pooping on your leash. <laughs> 